Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And this is a tech news update for Thursday, March the 3rd, 2016. And today in our bits of news, we have Microsoft is probably working on a Windows 10 version that would work on ARM processors. It's been a while, you know, there was already a version of Windows that was made for ARM and it was Windows RT and they had Windows RT tablets. And we thought with, you know, Windows RT and everything that it probably was dead and that Microsoft would not do that. But it seems that Microsoft is still working uh, on, on ARM processors and probably Windows 10 on ARM. And the, the, the indications come from a few people that watch code and watch information about you know the internals of Windows and they say that a lot of the internals kind of point to ARM processors so uh, that's interesting to note will there be a new uh, ARM processor enabled tablet of some sort or any other devices is it just for very low powered devices it's gonna be interesting to see and um, you know it, it wouldn't be that bad to basically see Microsoft go into the ARM processors also. It would give a uh, kind of a new life and a, a different way of going through Windows. Of course, with no compatibility, of course, to the regular architecture on Intel processors, but it would be interesting. Cortana is, as always, getting better and better all the time. And in the latest updates that she will have, if you install Cortana on your phone, well, if you're on your PC, Cortana will be able to say, hey, battery on your phone is getting low. So you won't even have to look at your phone to know that. Cortana will let you know what's happening with your phone. It also will be able to show and display text messages from your phone to your Windows PC. So that's going to be very interesting, I think. And it will be added to the already pretty rich environment of uh, Cortana in Windows 10. Well, if you have a Windows 10 phone, there was an update and it brings that uh, update of Windows 10 Mobile to 10.586.122 available for slowing. So um, anybody that basically wants to join and have the update, it's available since yesterday and it brings the numbers of the operating system from the phone and uh, Windows to the same level, pretty much the same level. So that's uh, interesting. Same same version number, basically, which is 10586.122. Windows 10 adoption rate is slowing down three different numbers. <coughs> basically, um, three different companies that view the statistics of Windows 10 uh, through the web and through different uh, sources uh, all agree on one thing is that the adoption rate of Windows 10 slowed down uh, in February. Uh, it was about 70% of the adoption rate of January and uh, the lowest adoption rate since October apparently. So um, that's interesting. You know, it, it is to I would not expect Windows 10 to, uh, you know, have a phenomenal rate of upgrade uh, all the time. I think it is normal that it's slowing down. I think we will see a jump in the next few months as people prepare for the possible uh, Windows 10 upgrade that would be a paid upgrade. So some people will say, well, you know, i got to get it now because it's free now and that's where I need to get it. So it's going to be interesting to see and um, of course with all the uh, the news of Windows 10 and you know the fact that Microsoft's pushing Windows 10 a little more now on people that have Windows 7, Windows 8.1 um, I think you know we got got to be careful here I think because of the fact that if they push too hard to Windows 7 users it can create kind of an opposite effect and have people say, yeah, the hell, I'm not going to Windows 10. So uh, anyways, it's going to be interesting to see. We expect 
the next number of Windows 10 installs to be released uh, at the end of March. So uh, that's going to be uh, interesting, of course, to have news about that. Windows Redstone. Well, we've had a little more details about release dates. Not release dates exactly, but release periods, if we could say like that. It seems that June is still the next Windows Redstone update. So in June, we will all have a big update called Windows Redstone. And it will be there to uh, improve and you know add a lot of new features to Windows 10. But we also learned that the second wave, which was stated to be uh, in the fall of this year, is now pushed to spring 2017. So it seems that it's a lot more complex than they realized to have all of these updates. You know, at the start, they were thinking of three updates a year, and now I think the reality is actually catching up on them. So as of now, the schedule is Redstone update in June, for Windows 10 and the next wave of Redstone update will be in the spring of 2017 and all of that is free for everybody so don't worry it stays free so that's pretty much what I had to say about the tech news update today on Thursday March the 3rd 2016 if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know maybe you have some uh, features maybe you have something about Windows or a video about a you know feature of uh, anything about technology basically that you'd like to see let us know of course and hopefully you enjoy our videos and will keep following us here on the windows channel and also on daily motion as we are now on daily motion also thank you for watching